okay, look, backtrack. Usually when we do top five dead or alive, Raph and I in particular, and we, we do it with the group of the boys back home, all, all rappers. All so rappers. everyone's top five is very similar. We, we look at lyrical dexterity. We look at, you know, impact. Like rappers, rappers, like rappers for rappers. But this time I'm in a group of um, people that aren't particularly hip hop heads. Some are different levels of type of hip hop heads. Some people are more into the producing side of things, which I completely respect. So I had to be a bit more open-minded about that. And it was actually a really interesting topic because seeing why people pick particular artists um, for their top five, I was like, oh yeah, I can, I can see that. Like I wouldn't do that personally. But this one... Person, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. So X heated. or whatever, Mr. or Mrs. X, not going to discriminate, um, was very just call them opinionated. X, and like, I'll make, I'll make one remark and you guys might, might disagree, which is fine. But as long as your disagreement holds like knowledge, yeah. you know, like holds some sort of like, okay, that, that makes sense. You, you back that. Comment. So, like, I'm not a huge Drake fan, but this I mean, particular like, person. Let me, sorry, so sorry, ob- just, it's it's, sorry, it's so obvious. Just, like, he'll, just, uh, he'll he'll will know a, who I'm talking about. Right. Yeah, sorry. But just context for the listeners, I just want to translate what what Nats was saying. He's saying that his opinion. What do you mean translate? His, his gospel. What do you mean translate? And you don't have and you don't have an opinion unless you understand hip hop. No, it's not that. <laughs> I'm I'm getting to the fucking point, man. I'm just kidding. I'm just you don't kidding, listen, Don. Relax, you know what, Don? That's the problem. You don't listen, I, I bro. You don't listen. I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what that has to say. You know, you know what? I, you know what I love. The, the reason why the reason why I'm trying to rile you up, Nats, is because when you get passionate about a particular subject, it's it's amazing. I, I really I really enjoy. I'm it. always passionate, Don, and you don't listen, bro. All right, so <laughs> you don't like Drake, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so like, look, it's fine to have an opinion, but don't have an opinion for the sake of having an opinion. That's all I'm saying. Wait, so wait, you know wait, when people said, just want to like add to their you, own though. two cents just to be part of the conversation, it's like, I don't know, bro. But anyway, this this certain remark, like, I respect it. Some people, someone said like, I put Drake in my top five. I wouldn't put Drake in my top five. There's reasons why I wouldn't put t- Drake in my top five. This particular person says, like, really shot this guy down. Was like, oh, uh, uh, and was like, sorry, Drake's my boo. He, he my dude. All right, it's obviously it's a girl now. But he was like, I really love Drake, but he he is not a rapper. And I'm like, bitch, please. He can rap, all right. He is a rap. He's more of a rapper than he is a singer. So that comment is out of the window. And to be completely honest. The past decade, he has been like one of the most impactful, mm. if not like debatable, probably the most impactful MC of the decade. Mm. 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 I'm just saying, I'm just saying, and I'm not a huge Drake fan, but I'm just saying, if you, you see the numbers, you see like, and when he gets on a track, he raps. You can't deny that. You can't think, put yeah. him in the same category as a, like a, a chewing gum rapper that and doesn't think, say shit. Yeah. Drake, despite his commercial tracks that he puts out, you look, you dig down a bit, you'll see he can, he can, he can on par a lot of really good rappers up there. So when when that comment was made, immediately I was like, okay, you don't know hip hop, so I don't think <laughs> so anything you say from say now anything. on. I From now on, it's just like it's just like I can't uh, respect we'll anything you say now. <laughs> so anything she put on her top five, I'm like, yeah, but I don't believe you. I think you're just putting these names out for the sake of them because these are names that people just put out for the sake. Like, it's so typical to put Biggie in Park, but I don't, I don't, I don't say you're wrong. But I want to know why. Why did you put Biggie in Park there? You know, is it because Tupac's awesome storytelling, or is it purely the the impact that he had? Mm. Um, you know what I mean? Or, these these or things matter. Just, yeah, and that's for any type of debate. changes and was like, yeah, this is a good song. I like this song. They're my favorite. Yeah, it's definitely those people fucking... Yeah, so look, <laughs> one, of, one of the guys, look, 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 yeah. to, be, to, be, to be real, one of the guys, I respect the guy. He's, he put Kanye in his top five. Mm. I wouldn't put Kanye. No. I don't think he's a good rapper, bro. He is a great musician. He makes amazing music. I'd put him definitely top five as a producer, but not as a rapper. But... Me knowing the room, right. read the room. I'm like, not everyone here is an actual hip hop head. And yeah, Kanye is a rapper, so I get why he would put him there. He 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 looks at his, he analyzes his top five in in regards to, I guess, impact and 
you know, maybe or that kind it, of thing. Or, or is the, it notoriety the, the whole or like... Whereas how, like how, us, how as hit, like me and Raph, LO, all the rappers back home, you guys probably too if you're all hip hop heads, we'd be looking at like the Nas, Jay-Z, Big L's, Big Puns, all those mm. type of guys, you know? And new school, probably yeah, like the Coles, Kendricks. <laughs> I'm not that into the new school, but... Oh, if we're having a... Can I ask you Can I ask you a question? I assume, you correct me if I'm wrong or whatever, if you want to add whatever, but based off how you put your list together of like top five, top 10. So I assume you yep. include obviously like like lyricism, commercial success, yes. cultural impact. Um, and, and I guess like, I guess in my head, those are sort of the the three main benefactors of like what would round a, the re- yeah, prerequisite in the list. to be in a top five. Right. Well, Cause well, obviously like if you, yeah. if you were just going lyricists ever, like you won't, you won't factor in like your, commercial success and this and that. So like, let's say exactly. me personally, like I wouldn't, I'd probably have Drake in my top 10. He's not my favorite artist, but you yeah. just can't deny his impact. He can rap and he's like, he's changed yeah, the he game completely in the last 10 years. He's mm. been on top. So it's like, but let's say if you, if you're going straight lyrics, I could see why someone wouldn't even have him in there. Not that he sort of doesn't have lyrics, but you know, if you compare him to like a black thought, it's a different story, right? Mm. absolutely man absolutely and i'm happy that you brought that up because i think the what what sparks or makes the the top five that are alive debate really fun is it's so subjective to what people appreciate more like like if you're a hip-hop head or not you you like different things and the the beauty Mm. of it is there's no rules right there's no one there's no like god of rap that says these are the things that are key you can already see the divide where the the young generation the old generation or the in-betweens or the hipsters they all like different things there's gotta be some boundaries though you know like there are, there are boundaries, no rules, but, but there's the, got to be. You know what the boundaries are. The boundaries to... are the circles that you mm. you you have these conversations in. So if we had the like a group of rappers doing a top five conversation, the boundaries are sort of like automatic in its sense. Like yeah, it's going to be like different if I was, to someone who's outside. It's going to be that. different. It's going to be different for everyone, and that's that's the beauty of it. You can you can set the parameters right before a conversation, but you can sort of read it in the room as soon as you 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 take the conversation. To that level, so anyway, that's that's my two cents. That's all I got mm. to say. Anyway, wait, uh, Nat, give me your ten. Who are your Who are your ten all time? Ten. Yeah, I didn't 10. go. I didn't go ten, but on the five. night, oh, give me five. Yeah, give me um, five. On the night, I chose we'll get your five uh, as well. Jay, uh, Big Pun, Eminem, okay. Royce. Who was my last one? Nice list. Prodigy, Prodigy of a Mob Deep. Oh, mo- Mob Deep. Yeah. We didn't we didn't include groups, so I just picked Prodigy. But see what I mean? That's another thing. Like, do you include groups? Do you include Thingo? Yeah, it's 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 a fun yeah, it's a fun it's list. But, that, but but I'll be completely honest with you. My my list changes depending on the room I'm with. If everyone's throwing in certain things, and like it's not like I'm being influenced by them. It's like okay, I see what they're measuring now. This guy's list is this yeah. type thing. But that's my that's my list. That's my Nats blazing. I'm a rapper list. Cause that's what I like. I I get off on that shit, man. I'm like, oh fuck, yeah, so grimy New York shit. Anyway, <laughs> Trey, yeah, put big pun in there, Royce. That's like your, your yeah, like and no set. one would know that, you know, like like yeah, yeah. Anyways, nice what's list. your top five, Ron? Yeah, if I so based off when I said if I say and I guess favorites is different to like all time, just based on what your parameters are. But if I go like commercial success and then like critical acclaim impact lyricism like actual skill so i put i put jay in there you have to um jay park and big i guess big short live had the two or three albums but the cultural impact is undeniable like 20 Mm. 20 years later like we're still talking about him like Mm. he's still here and his music still plays in the club like People still sample around. him in their People songs. sample him all yeah. the time. His ad libs, yeah. fucking some of the yeah. greatest, uh, like some of the greatest ad libs ever. Yeah, so you you, you, you chuck him in there. Um, oh, it's tough, man. That's already three people, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's hard, eh? It's, hard. it's tough, man. Because I want to put Snoop in there too, bro. Snoop. Yeah, or that's like because he because he ticks all those boxes and then some. Like, oh, if we're talking in, lo- longevity, longevity, Snoop. impact. Snoop is number yeah. one if it's long longevity like and impact. Giving guys, back yeah. to the culture, re-invent, like re-invent he's a fucking and... king of this shit. <clears throat> yeah, and then you, you probably could even put like Diddy and shit in there as well. 
Yeah, you if probably it was, if you it was probably that, wanted... it was that topic. It would be Diddy was yeah. be part of that. Mm. Even like LL, <laughs> LL Cool J, mm. from like an impact standpoint, uh, Karis One. Like, nice. if you want to add like the political sort of aspect of it, um, and then I got to show love to Down South with Scarface in there. Oh yeah, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't heard that name in a while. Nice. Only only because like if I'm thinking all time, it's like you you know you can say yeah. three stacks, you can stay say Bun B. Um, or even like, you know, if you want to chuck in a TI just to sort of balance the field, but Scarface influenced everybody. So if you, if you added, um, that in order, the only two I'm really curious about, do you put Park over Biggie or Biggie over Park? Ooh. Cause that's another so one. Everyone. My, my thing is I love both of them. I'd say from like a technical standpoint, Biggie's a better rapper, like yeah. lyrics flow and stuff, but like Park had more of the impact and like, I guess his, his body of work like met more and so much more came out after his death. So that's, so I would say he, Park Park had, Biggie? Oh, <laughs> we're putting you in a position. <laughs> yeah. Look, maybe like straight up, may, Park <laughs> maybe on a, maybe Park on a, big, a on a Sunday I'll, I'll pick big, but like when I'm sort of more motivated, <laughs> sort of more on the grind, you know, I'll chuck Park in their top half of the week. So, so he has yeah. more days. So pretty much Park. Yeah. Big, right? put Park, <laughs> <laughs> Park, put Park over Big. <laughs> Yeah, it's what, hard, about, man. what about yours, Julian? What's your top five? <laughs> <laughs> but it, do you, you guys have those conversations, right? As musicians, you have top five mm, dead mm, alive top musicians, five right? And it's kind of like the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like like um, musicality, yeah. like yeah. body of work, longevity, impact, commercial yeah. success. There's a lot of as aspects that go into it, mm. and so like, I, th um, I think to your point, Nats, like my me being not like I'm not I'm not the biggest hip hop head. I know of hip hop artists I know of hip hop um, producers and, and rappers and, yeah. and my, my list is fairly like, like it, it, it sits in the commercial realm. You know what I mean? Because that's, yeah, of course. That's I, my, I that's my understanding. That. That's my knowledge. You know what I mean? Um, if I said to you, look, I'm not the biggest hip hop head. These are my top five. Does that change your perspective of my, of my opinion? You know how you were like, well, you said, no, not at all, man.